Good afternoon and thanks for joining us. R. Kelly making news today. Sony Music announcing that they're dropping the artist from their roster following years of allegations of the artist committing sexual assault on minors, most recently brought to light by the Lifetime documentary Surviving R. Kelly. And tonight, Dateline NBC is featuring an exclusive interview with a former intern who is speaking out for the first time on television, accusing Kelly of abusive behavior. Her name is Tracy Sampson, and she told Dateline's Andrea Canning she met R. Kelly when she was just a teenage intern back in 1999. Today, I talked with Andrea about her interview. Here's a glimpse. I was extremely uncomfortable. I wasn't sexually active. I had never seen a man's private parts. It just didn't feel right. R. Kelly's attorney, Stephen Greenberg, denies Sampson's allegations and those made by other women who have recently come forward. So is R. Kelly saying that all these women, they are all lying? That is absolutely Every correct. Every one of them. Every one of them, yes. Andrea, so these accusations about R. Kelly, they have been around for years, but why is Dateline looking into this now? Well, after this, this docu-series aired on Lifetime, this story just started to take on a life of its own. Everyone started talking about it, and we wanted to see if there was more. Um, so with our great investigative team, we started digging in, and we started finding all kinds of things uh, about the situation. We started interviewing people, um, and I think people are going to walk away with a shocking story. Can you tell us a little bit more about this new interview? Uh, yeah, so uh, her name is Tracy Sampson. Um, she says that she was underage uh, when this relationship started, um, interning at Epic Records. Um, she, tell, she goes into great detail about how this relationship started, how it evolved. It's a, it, it's a very, it's her account, but it's a very disturbing account. They ended up settling out of court. Um, she left him for $250,000. He says that they never uh, even had sexual relations. So there's two different, very different sides to the story regarding this intern. As a mother, what shocked you the most about doing this investigation? I mean, I think it's just when you hear their stories, it's just sad. The way that they say they were lured in, um, you know, that it, it didn't matter. They say how old they were. Um, they say that he liked them the younger, the better. Um, I mean, I don't know any parent that wants that for their child. Um, so it, it's just the loss of innocence, I think, that is so sad. And then to have him now calling them all liars, um, you know, it's got to hurt. But they say they're doing it because they feel empowered and they want to help other women. He is part of the national conversation right now. You can watch Dateline's hour-long report, Accused, the R. Kelly story. That's coming up tonight at 9 o'clock. Andrea Canning also sat down with several other women who opened up about their painful accounts of alleged sexual abuse, physical violence, and control by R. Kelly. Some of them who they say they were underage mm. at the time.